The more I started to think about recording the sounds of ice, the more I realized that there is a huge sense of urgency to make uh, some kind of artistic tribute to these glaciers now before they totally recede away into the oceans. And that became a big motivation for the project. I like to infuse as much sense of place in a track that I'm making if possible. So with these Iceland sounds, I'm taking that kind of to the extreme and making a piece of music using almost exclusively the sounds that we gathered in country. And this is the drum kit that I made using Iceland sounds. So my travel buddy and I did some singing in an ice cave. Just two voices, two notes. And I took those recordings and I turned them into a pad, essentially, which sounds like... Yeah, these ice sounds can be twisted and sculpted and turned into, into anything. I'm looking forward to being surprised by what people make out of them. The first time that I, that I saw the glacier up close, I just froze. It's difficult to describe that sense of awe. The bottom line is that they're melting at much faster rates than they ever have. In 150 years, the glacier tongues that we were hiking on would be totally gone. So it was a bit eerie to stand on them and to think about that. It was humbling, it was surreal. I'd never seen anything quite like these ice formations. This particular iceberg may never sound exactly like that again. It's a beautiful snapshot of a moment in time. That's what I'm trying to make music for.